Hey boys, it's me, Elite Trolling G. I'm back again. If y'all wanted to get updated on all my new videos and when I'm going live on Twitch, you should join my Discord server. The invite link will be in the description. Also, my Patreon will be in the in the description as well. If you would like, you can donate me some money to help me get some better gear for some better videos. As of right now, it doesn't give you any benefits, sadly. But in the future, I'll be doing special videos that only Patreon members will get to see. Or I will upload videos a couple days or even a week earlier. Uh, so you guys can see them before everyone else on YouTube. Now, let's get to the story. The story I'm going to be talking about takes place around five years ago, maybe six years. I was just trying to make some money as a kid, and I was naive, like very fucking naive. I thought you could easily make some money, like you could make a lot of money by just pet sitting. So that's what I did. I found a website called PetSitter.com. It looked very real, but again, I was naive. After maybe a week of searching and posting some ads saying I'm looking to get hired, I found an actual real person looking for looking to get a pet sitter. Sadly, after some talking, their cousin agreed to pet sit for them for free, so no job for me. But then I got another message from someone else. Their name was Alita. I'm just sharing their name on the website because I know it's not their real name. So their message basically asked if I could just come by their house like three times a day uh, to let their dog out, take him on a walk, feed him, etc. I said, yeah, sure, because that, that sounds like easy money. But then this Alita said that they would send me a first time check through the mail just to make this job official. Now again, I was naive, but even with being naive, I, I should have seen this as a big fucking red flag. But of course, I didn't. I was greedy. It was free money for doing nothing. So I basically gave them my address. After a couple of days, the check came. A check for, I believe, around $2,000. I know. And I instantly deposited it. Stupid me. Around a fourth of it was deposited into my bank account, and then my bank put the deposit on hold because the account that, that it was pulling the money from didn't have the money at all. After I deposited it, Alita messaged me again and asked if I deposited. I said yes. Then she asked me to go to the nearest Walmart and buy some gift cards with that money for them. After reading that, I finally caught on. I noticed this whole thing was fake. I called my dad, I told him everything, and he was actually kind of fucking angry that, angry that I didn't even come to him when they were talking about paying me, but he told me to call my bank, get the transaction cancelled, but sadly it was actually a bit too late. The bank noticed the check was fraudulent and closed my whole account. Thank God my mom was pushing the bank really hard to open it back up, because if she didn't try pushing the bank hard... <laughs> The bank would have thought that I was a scammer and I was I wanted to deposit the fraudulent money. But after around a couple days of explaining to the manager what the fuck happened, that I just tried getting getting a job, I was naive and stupid, and I deposited that check right when I got it. They understood what the fuck happened and noticed that I was just a fucking naive kid. I was like 11 fucking years old. And then they finally let us reopen my account and everything was fucking good. I, I I was so relieved because when they said they were closing my account, we right away went to my fucking bank, like physically. And uh, and my mom asked if they is since they were closing my account, if I if I would be able to open another account with under my name. And they said no. Cause they thought I was the fucking scammer. So they said no. After they closed this account officially, I will not be able to open any more accounts under my my legal name. So that fucking scared me to shit. <laughs> but after a couple of days of pushing, we went back to the uh, bank again. We explained uh, everything to the actual manager, and he understood everything. He understood that I was just a fucking naive kid, and uh, noticed what the fuck happened, and l let us reopen the account. And after, I think, like, a month of waiting, but before this whole thing happened, I had, like, 
I think 15 cents in my bank account. And I, <laughs> when they closed my account and reopened it, that all that money was gone. And I was actually kind of, I was kind of sad that I didn't have the 15 fucking cents. But after around a month of waiting, the 15 cents finally appeared in my bank account again. So I, I was happy, even though it was 15 cents. I, I, I could have fucking made that 15 cents by just taking just walking down the street and finding some spare change on the fucking sidewalk <laughs> but for some reason i was relieved when they gave me the 15 cents back but either way the lesson you should take from this is don't be naive if you're looking for a job physically go to the stores and restaurants and ask for an application form don't do it online literally any site you go on can be fake and two, if your employer sends you a check before you even start working, drop that job instantly. If if they give you a check before you start working, that's the most biggest red flag you could ever fucking get. Because what what everyone knows is that your employer doesn't give you any money until you do the work you signed up for. Once you do the work for around a week or maybe two weeks, they give you a check. They give you the money. They never do it the other way around. They give you money to make it quote unquote official. And then if you finally go to work and then get paid again and then again and whatever. It, it No, it's not real. So just, just don't be naive like me. I, I learned my lesson. I hope you guys learn your lesson from just listening to this fucking story. I, I was fucking stupid. But either way, thank you guys for listening. Um... Happy Thanksgiving, because uh, it's Thanksgiving right now. It's November uh, 26th. Yeah, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what Thanksgiving is, but I, I didn't know when Thanksgiving was, but now I do. November 26th. Haha, <laughs> I know dates. Either way, thank you guys for listening. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.